Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and this is a very important research alert for patients with mitral valve prolapse who are asymptomatic. I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Patrick McCarthy, who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. McCarthy, are you there? I'm here, Adam. Good to talk to you again. Dr. McCarthy, you just shared with me some fascinating research from one of your new papers. Can you please help the patients in our community from all over the world learn about the key findings from that new research? Sure, Adam. Well, uh, about a month ago, one of our journals published a paper from Northwestern, and we were looking at our experience in patients that have mitral valve prolapse that had undergone mitral valve surgery. And so uh, it was over a thousand patients that we were reporting, and many of them had follow-up out to 10 years. And uh, the results actually looked really interesting. Many time patients hear that, oh, you don't have any symptoms yet. Let's keep waiting until you develop symptoms. The problem with that is that sometimes you can wait too long. While you're waiting, your heart may get weaker. Your heart's working overtime because the blood's going back and forth every heartbeat and it enlarges and gets weaker. And so the guidelines from the American Heart Association suggest you should have a surgery for some patients even when they don't have symptoms. So uh, we're pleased to report we had about 500 patients like that without symptoms. Um, we look at the risk of the surgery and it's extremely low. At 30 days, survival was 100%. Um, and more importantly, even when we look 10 years later, none of those patients needed a second operation or reoperation. The valve repair was holding up very well. Um, and in only about 2% was it leaking at a kind of a level of three or so out of a level of four maximum. And so the results were durable. And, and this is a group of patients that um, can preserve their heart function with a safe operation. So. Um, it's kind of validating the guidelines is why we wrote it, because that had been what the guidelines had suggested. But uh, this report shows that that strategy actually works really well. Low risk operation, great long term results. Yeah, and I can't thank you enough, Dr. McCarthy, because I'm sure for the patients out there saying, hey, I feel fine. I'm not ready for surgery. Um, you might want to rethink that. And uh, look at some of these great results that you, Dr. McCarthy, and your team there at Northwestern Medicine have achieved for your patients. That's fascinating. As always, Dr. McCarthy, thanks for taking time away from your super busy practice and sharing your insights with the community at heartvalvesurgery.com. And as we always say here, keep, keep on ticking. Thanks, Adam. And thanks for getting this information out to the patients. I'm sure they all appreciate it.